Hello, my name is Daniel Yuck. Thank you for watching today. I appreciate your time and support. In today's video, I want to go over A and D first aid ointment, and I want to go over A and D tattoo ointment. I want to share some of the differences with you all by the end of this video. You will know the differences between the A and D first aid and A and D tattoo. I will leave my affiliate links for you in the description below so you can check out this gear on your end. Should you have any questions at all, I encourage you to drop a comment down below. I will do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. With that being said, let's get right on into this. On the left, we have the A and D first aid ointment. On the right, we have the A and D tattoo. Some obvious differences off the bat are the packaging. Some other differences that I do see off the bat are the ingredients. Here is a close-up view at the ingredients, and it looks as though the A&D tattooing ointment does have more ingredients inside than the first aid A&D. It looks as though the A&D first aid ointment has seven different ingredients. Right here we have two of the active ingredients, and then down here we have the remaining inactive ingredients. And if I'm reading this correctly, it looks as though the A&D tattooing has about 14 different ingredients. So off the bat, that is an apparent difference. There are more ingredients within the A and D tattooing ointment, and you can see them all listed right here. And then the first eight ingredients are listed right here. Definitely different ingredients on both. So that's one major difference right there. My logic is this, the less amount of ingredients that I'm dealing with when applying the tattoo, I feel the better it would be. So when it comes to the actual application process of the tattoo, when we're actually tattooing, breaking open the skin, I would prefer to go with the A and D first aid simply because it has less ingredients. When it comes to the healing part of the tattoo, I would go with the A and D tattooing ointment. Reason being is because when I'm opening the skin, I want less ingredients, minimizing the risk of any sort of irritation or reaction to the ointment that I'm using. So the A and D first aid has less ingredients than the tattooing ointment, which is why I would use this one to apply the tattoo and break open the skin. And when the tattoo is healing closed, I would use the A and D tattooing ointment right here. So that right there is how I am looking at the A and D first aid and the A and D tattooing ointment. Let me know in the comment section down below how you would go about using these ointments. Let's take a look at the actual bottles inside. Another major difference that I'm noticing is the A and D first aid ointment is in a larger tube versus the A and D tattooing ointment. The A and D first aid comes with 42.5 grams of ointment and the A and D tattooing ointment comes with 30 grams of ointment. For those who are wondering, they do come sealed. I want to apply some ointment right here so that way we could see the differences between the actual ointment. Let's start with the A and D tattooing ointment. I'm going to place a little bit out to see if we notice any apparent differences. So this right here is more of a cream than it is an ointment, I would say. However, it is classified as an ointment according to the packaging as you see right here. It does say moisturizing ointment. So that is the A&D tattoo, which is actually like a cream sort of look to it, as opposed to the A&D first aid. It has a more of a petroleum Vaseline like look to it. So on the left is the a and D first aid. On the right is the A and D tattoo. This right here kind of sets it in stone for me in terms of the application and what I would use them for. The A and D first aid I would use to break open the skin and to apply the actual tattoo. And then I would use the A and D tattooing throughout the healing process to keep my healing tattoo moisturized. And even after they're done fully healed, I feel like moisturizing with A and D tattoo may be a better way to go to keep our tattoos vibrant and lively, to keep them from fading over time. That is exactly what I would use these different ointments for. Let's take a look at the consistency of the ointments. So the A&D tattooing ointment cream right here is a bit thick. It's not really like thin. It does have a thicker feel to it. It doesn't feel like traditional cream. It feels kind of like a glue sort of texture. It does feel like it has that Vaseline sort of feel. However, it has the appearance of cream as you can see right here. So that right there is the A&D tattooing ointment. And the behavior of the A and D first aid is going to be different. Now, I'm not sure if the color makes it look like it's behaving different, having that sort of white tone in there. However, the A and D first aid seems a bit more, what would I say? It seems more oil based, so to speak. And that's the best way that I can describe it. 
So this one feels more of like a an oil, you know, um, petroleum base feel, and this one feels more of like a waxy cream type of feel. Another main difference about these two ointments right here is that the A and D first aid ointment has vitamins A and D, hence the name, where the A and D tattooing ointment doesn't have vitamins A and D. It even states it on the box right here if we were to take a look does not contain vitamins A or D, and that is gonna be for the A&D tattoo ointment. Where we have the A&D first aid ointment, even if you were to look on the back right here, it does say right here, contains vitamin A, vitamin D. So this one has vitamins A and D, this one does not. That right there are some of the main differences between A&D first aid ointment and A&D tattoo ointment. I wanted to bring this video and share some of the apparent differences between the A&D first aid ointment and the A&D tattooing ointment. I do hope that I can shed some sort of light here for you on the differences between these two ointments and on the applications between these two different ointments. However, should you have any questions at all, I encourage you to drop a comment down below in my comment section and I will do my best to assist you in the best possible direction. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring my bell as I'm going to be bringing more videos like this for you all. I do also have social medias under the same name as my YouTube channel. I have Facebook, Instagram, X, and TikTok all under Daniel Yelp. I would appreciate the support over there as well. I appreciate your time and I thank you for tuning in. You have a great day.